Prevailing Prayer by D. L. Moody, dated 1884. Prefectural Note by D. L. Moody. The first two and essential means of grace are the Word of God and prayer. By these comes conversion, for we are born again by the Word of God, which liveth and abideth for ever. And whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. By these also we grow, for we are exhorted to desire the sincere milk of the word, that we may grow thereby, and we cannot grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, except we also speak to him in prayer. It is by the word that the Father sanctifies us, but we are also bidden to watch and pray, at least we enter in temptation. These two means of grace must be used in their right proportion. If we read the word and do not pray, we may become puffed up with knowledge without the love that buildeth up. If we pray without reading the word, we shall be ignorant of the mind and will of God and become mystical and fanatical and liable to be blown about by every wind of doctrine. The following chapters relate especially to prayer but in order that our prayers may be for such things as are according to the will of God, they must be based upon the revelation of his own will to us. For of him, and through him, and to him are all things. And it is only by hearing his word, in which we learn his purposes towards us and towards the world, that we can pray acceptably, praying in the Holy Ghost asking those things that are pleasing in his sight. These addresses are not to be regarded as exhaustive, but suggestive. This great subject has been the theme of prophets and apostles, and of all good men in all ages of the world, and my desire is sending forth this little volume is to encourage God's children to seek by prayer, quote, to move the arm, that moves the world. D.L. Moody